Hi everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the most important question for PubJ developer that is what are context operators. So basically in Webby, we have three context operators in for each and for all which we used for different uh, calculations. So uh, in in operator and uh, for each for all so uh, in operator does not consider the dimensions that you have included in the block so uh, it doesn't consider and if you want any dimension to be included in a con calculation you can specify under in clause for each and for all it uh, it considers the dimensions which you have included in a block and then on top of it then uh, you can use for each and for all to add some dimensions or to uh, remove it so that's the basic difference between these two um, operators so first we'll start with in in as you know like in operator specifies the dimensions explicitly in a context if you see this block here sales revenue and i can uh, create one um, calculation uh, for this and i can include any block like I can include any dimension I want I can include year I can include quarter I can include week so it doesn't matter uh, what you have included in the block uh, for example if I want maximum quarterly revenue per year so I can define like my maximum sales revenue in year quarter divided by your like I want a uh, year wise so divided by your year so it, as you can see I have defined in in clause year and quarter so whatever you want uh, like I wanted quarterly sales revenue per year so whatever you uh, want you can you have to specify under in clause it does not consider the dimensions of the block by default the second is for each so for each it actually considers the uh, default dimensions of your block so for example i have included here a year sales revenue okay uh, so by default it has included year in your calculation so i only need to specify quarter because i want quarterly sales per year so by default it will work as maximum sales revenue for each quarter in like divided by your year so for each quarter like you can ask like why did you not include year here because for each does not cons for each has already considered year because year was already included in the block but i wanted quarter also so that's why i can add dimensions in the context using this for each so the result for the this one and this one it will give you same but here we have included year and quarter because here we have explicitly defined but here we didn't need to explicitly define year because it has already considered my block dimension like block in the sense like whatever you have pulled in your report then what do you mean by for all for all is used to remove dimension from a context like for example if here in this table we have year we have quarter we have sales revenue if i calculated if i calculate like okay i want my uh, yearly sales revenue so for yearly sales revenue it has already included my year block and my quarter block by default but i don't want quarter block to be included i want it to be removed so for that i can use for all for all like my sum of sales revenue for all quarter for all quarter in the sense it has removed year it has removed this quarter dimension from the block and it will only give yearly sales revenue so in short the summary is in uh, does not consider uh, whatever dimensions you have included in the block you need to explicitly define in the calculation for each and for all it considers your default dimension of the block and on top of it you can explicitly add extra dimensions or you can remove uh, the dimension so for that you can use for each and for all so i hope uh, like if you you can study these topics online also like there are many blogs many videos on top of it but please do prepare this topic before going for interviews so thank you for watching this video